again. In the kitchen whipping, I'm rapping again. Keep on playing, but then I'm stabbing your friend. I'm in the hood, I think I'm. Hey y'all, Sire Baby here, and I'm back with another video. So, y'all been requesting a part two for the signs that you dealing with a cheater or whatnot. So, I'm gonna give y'all a part two because y'all requested it. See, that's it's not that hard. You can just communicate. Let me know. So, this time I'm giving y'all 10. I had to write them down because. I ain't gonna remember 10. I don't know. Yeah, it's three more, but whatever. Number one, somebody that's constantly, 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 constantly on their phone. I'm not talking about for no networking, business-wise, even if they like Instagram famous, stuff like that. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about they always want to text somebody. They always texting. They always on the phone. And you like, was that uh, yeah good luck sister bro yeah cuz got you a cheater number two always being distant they always being distant now what I mean by that is like they always want to be in another room like if y'all live together they always want to be in another room they always want to go outside that pretty much connects with number one because most of the time they don't want to be on the phone in a separate room or yeah who is that that you gotta be so private with cheater number three now this is for mainly the couples that live together if they come home so called from work or outside you supposed to come back in the house with an outside smell, okay? I don't care what nobody say. You you're supposed to smell like outside. If you was at work, you supposed to smell like wherever you work at. Coming home too fresh. No way you telling me you worked the whole eight hour, six, seven hour shift at work and you come home smelling like you just took a shower. No, that's, that's a classic. Everybody know that. you. Number four, they always claiming a new quote unquote friend. Now, I have no problem with my significant other having friends, but being friendly, always claiming somebody, oh yeah, that's my new friend. It's a new female or a new guy every other day. No, what friend? I never heard of this person. Who was that? No. That friendly stuff, no. That friendly stuff ruin a lot of relationships, but I'm not gonna get into that. Number five, always being defensive. You know how guys nowadays, like if you, like some of them, like they undercover gay and stuff like that, and you, you come at them and ask and they get mighty defensive. Yeah, same way, same same goes. Yeah, I just said, who is that? Why, why, are you, why are you mad though? Yeah, defensive every 2.5 seconds. Y'all can't have a normal conversation for nothing. He or she always defensive. That's, that's a whole cheater, period. Number six. Now, I don't know if people still do this, but if they do, then I'm so sorry. Saving people numbers under a different name as if it's just a normal coworker or they friend. Pretty much every cheater has a Tay or a Kiki, if you get what I'm saying. They got a normal name that they're always constantly texting. You never even heard of them. Who was that? That my coworker. Oh, right. Every cheater has a Tay and a Kiki. There you go. Number seven, always pushing you away. That's a problem. Now, it could go both ways, as in they pushing you away normally, like, oh, they always want to be to themselves, so to speak, so to speak, and it's it come out of nowhere, and it's like, no. And then you got the ones that, oh yeah, get out the house, yeah, go to the spa. 
spa with your friends. Yeah, go get your nails and hair done. Why are you trying to get me out of the house so bad? I just got my hair done last week. What you talking about? No. No. Pushing you away. Trying to get you out of the house so they can bring their little hole in. You, you know what? Number eight. If your partner start acting different, i.e. They don't want to cut her no more. They phone is they pretty much bae because they get more. The phone get more attention than you. I can name a bunch of examples for that. Why are you gonna act different? Why? Because the new bit in in the picture, the new bit in the picture, the new guy is in the picture. Y'all, their feelings for y'all pretty much fading away, so they want to start acting different towards you. Even if they start disrespecting you randomly and they never disrespected you before, like ever. Yeah, that that new. And new hoe, that new hoe getting all the attention, period. Nah. If you keep different actions of how they act towards you, and they usually don't act like that, and you know they don't act like that. Cheater. Number nine. If you always find the stuff, like in the car, if y'all stay together in the house, in a bag, whatever the case may be, and it don't belong to either one of y'all. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you see something once, give it the benefit of the doubt because it could be something that y'all totally forgot about and y'all don't even pay attention to it no more. But if you start seeing more and more and more and more stuff two, three, four, five times, yeah. That's the, um... It's they side piece stuff. I have the audacity to bring it in my territory. Number 10, I call it the blame game. Pretty much, you getting blamed for everything, but they're the ones who are doing it. Like, y'all can't, anybody has, anybody has ever been in a relationship where they swear that you're doing something and you know damn well you're not doing anything. And most of the time, you probably don't even leave the house. Y you know you don't do nothing. But they keep saying, oh, what did they find something to say that you're doing. But we, we, we both know, everybody know, the Lord know, the people next door know, down the street, everybody know that you don't do nothing. Yeah, no. That's because they doing it. They doing what they blaming you for. So... Yeah, that's my 10, y'all. I had to write them down for y'all because I wasn't going to remember. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, you guys. That was part two. Y'all requested part two. So, you got it. There you go. Yeah. New viewers, subscribe, like, share, comment, and yeah, subscribe. So, if y'all want... Do you see how easy that was for y'all to say y'all want a part two? That's all you got to do. It's not that hard. I was literally getting the comments of part two they want or people personally texting me or they came to my DM. That's not hard. Oh yeah, I do. Again, you guys, thanks for watching. Side baby out. Wait, no, exactly how it go, it's Roach. No, bitch, can't do it like this. Foot low, dumb on both my rear. Me and Joe Blow gon' skim me your bit. Ellie took me nigga, get money like the sit. Scream my nino, got a hundred in the seat. I ain't no gay, I'm a joy, did me.